Aloha folks and welcome back to Mongol Invasion or well now it's more like Arabian Empire although we are Mongol so I guess that's pretty cool um, which is also kind of unrealistic because normally the Mongols would kind of just adopt the local culture once they settled down uh, since they had such a widespread empire uh, in any case I have noticed that I can go for a claim the Mongol Empire war uh, obviously, uh, because I do have the claim on the Mongol Empire, and I only have a weak one, um, which is kind of interesting. Even though my father was the um, the Kagan, uh, so I think I'll declare war in this episode. Maybe I, I don't know. We still have the troops. Um, yeah, I don't I don't know how that's gonna go down, but hopefully we'll do well. This time I'm not actually going to make the mistake of going to war when I'm arranging my carousing session. I tend to always end up doing that for some reason, like arrange this magnificent session and then suddenly I just go to war so uh, that they cancel. Well, my carousing session was uh, interrupted by some sort of stupid rebellion, so oops. No, no way, how did they go independent? It's like... They're my... they're supposed to be under me, they can't just go independent from someone else that was under my rule, that doesn't make sense. I, I, I'm gonna... subjugate these people. Actually, wait. Power, foreign culture. If I just put your opinion up, you'd actually accept, right? Oh, good. Then I don't have to declare war on you, you stupid bastards. Come on. Come on, accept. Accept. There we go. Good. Now for the main act of the day. I'm gonna claim the Mongol Empire, and hopefully we'll get back that territorial prowess and size that we used to have. And we'll make all of this feudal, which is probably gonna be amazing. I don't know how it works, but yeah. Boom. Yes! Uh, Magnus Von Tyrol is dead. But it's actually not a very good thing because uh, what ends up happening is that uh, this matrilineal betrothal is probably gonna be uh, declined when we get uh, up there. Which is unfortunate. And I also notice I don't have an alliance with um, the the Holy Roman Empire, so I'm gonna have to go in all alone in this war. So it feels like we're um, getting quite a lot of uh, vassals now. We have Arabia as well, uh, which but then Syria went back to the Ayyubids. Tripolitania, I thought I gave them to Africa, but they're losing a war, so we're gonna fix that soon enough. I think they're having some sort of revolt over here, but we're gonna go over that, and it does seem like. Uh, uh, the Andalusians here have uh, helped out and conquered a province from Leon or something, which is nice to see. Uh, but this war against the Mongol Empire is probably going to take a while, considering, you know, the vast size of our, our two um, realms. Gurbesu has developed a habit for wild parties. She's 12, but, you know, whatever. Um, I think I'm going to let her be... Oh, she's lustful. Ooh, I thought uh, she was gonna get charitable, but whatever. You have no idea how scared I just was. Um, of course, I knew I was going in here in the winter. I started the, ma the march in November sometime um, after sieging down uh, this place, Sarpa. But when I reached this province, like a few days ago, I was at 14% attrition, and I was like, "Oh my god, shit." Uh, but then one day later, it just, I noticed it was March, so I imagined, well, it's going to be over soon, and uh, it was. Now, this is the only thing that really matters um, in a nomad conquest. I think it's the capital, so if you basically destroy their capital, it's over. Um, or maybe not. Really don't know. I think I'm just going to take down the... Khan's ever, like, his own personal provinces one by one or something. 
I probably won't arrive in time, but I hold that will hold them down. Oh wait, they did move. Yeah, we're gonna catch up with them hopefully. Twentieth ah damn it. Oh the years are just dragging on and it's becoming kind of a pain here. Um Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Uh I hope I mean what is the Oh shit. Destroyer zero four I'm terribly sorry. Um, now, what's the occupation here? It's just the battles that give us the most, so I'm just gonna keep trying to crush their main forces. The Bishop of Constantinople is Messalian. Um, why? What are Messalians? Let's let's read. Uh, originated in Mesopotamia, influenced dualistic faith like Zoroastrianism. God can be perceived by the carnal senses and that his perception is necessary to reach perfection. Each person is born an, with an inner demon and only intense prayer can drive it out. They also believe that Lucifer is the elder son of God and a force for good and that incest is sacred since it was practiced by the children of Adam and Eve. Uh, they have no church hierarchy or stuff. Okay. Wow, uh, priests can inherit titles, women may own temple holdings. No opinion penalty against female rulers and heirs. Rulers can marry close kin to improve vassal opinion. So, uh, there is and can exist no religious head. Women may hold all counselor. Oh my god. This is so much better than Nestorianism. I can convert. Uh, this is gonna be extremely controversial because it's gonna force. It's gonna create a mess. Might create a rebellion and crap. But I'm gonna follow in his footsteps. Actually, I'm gonna embrace the uh, Messalian faith. Now the interesting thing is that the Messalian faith seems to have different. Um, different uh, religious sites or important sites, holy sites. So Rudhaden, which is in Ravi, I don't think is the same as uh, the Messalians, and Baghdad is a is a center. So we're gonna, I don't know, we're we're at war, so we can't force our vassals to convert. But uh, I'll see. I hate when it gets to 99% like this because, oh, so close, but so far. And especially now, since we're in a bit of a tumultuous, oh, tumultuous time. They are totally beaten. Boom. Oh. What are, why are there, do I only occupy feudal provinces? And his own, pro okay. Oh, that's very strange. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna create these kingdoms, fix everything up, and then uh, I'll be back. Um, I'm considering... Maybe we should make... This... Uh, this is being incorporated into the Arabian Empire. I was thinking that maybe we could go Primary Mongol Empire. Which is, yeah, pretty cool. But then we have unlanded sons. Eh, whatever. You know, I was about to end the episode, <laughs> but of course we haven't really come very far in terms of time. Okay, maybe, you know, eight years, but uh, also nine minutes, that's not very good. Uh, so I'm going to continue later. Um, I don't know... Yeah, whatever. I I'm actually getting a little bit tired, so I think it's a pretty good point for me to take a break. Actually, wait, what? The, I just realized we've reached a hundred years. A hundred years in like a, a couple of episodes, that's amazing. Um, yeah, just I just wanted to point that out, that's pretty incredible. Wait, that also means we're like a hundred years away from the end. But the game is a little bit slower now since it's uh, we're so big, it's a bit laggy. Alright, so I seem to have survived that. It's morning again, good thing. Um, in fact, it's the morning I should be uploading, or 
yeah, uploading sp this species episode. It's Sunday, uh, but I haven't edited it yet, and I will do th do that as soon as I'm done with this episode. So that's why I'm s I was so stressed yesterday. But uh, at least, I mean, we did conquer quite a lot, so it's not too bad. Oh damn it! I hadn't noticed this. Well, I guess uh, it won't be going to war then. I, I should have thought about that. Oh, something I hadn't noticed. So once we made the Mongol Empire our primary again, um, that was maybe a bad idea. I don't know because the son or brother with the we, we went back to back to uh, nomad succession, which means we won't be having a female ruler. Although, if I'm Missalian, I'm not really too sure. It's very, very strange. Okay, this is probably one of the strangest events I've seen so far. Crusade for and 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 ha and ha. sorry, just butchered that. Uh, but the Hosayala Kingdom is in India, right? Uh, and there are no Catholics whatsoever in the region. So my just it's just really really strange uh, like of course there's there's very little they can do about me but of all the places that they decide to uh, go on the crusade India I mean it's not, it's okay but it's in 1321 they hadn't even Vasco da Gama hadn't even gone to India Oh, it's Chagur, not Chabi. I was getting everything wrong. Um, yeah, so Chab Chagur here has Wolf Blood, which gives bonus health, martial, and personal combat. It's unfortunate that we that didn't ever. Um, yeah, I don't know. See her in action. I I, I was hoping that there was going to be some more events. You know, with the current uh, laws, uh, they're incompatible with each other, which means that if I go for keeping the Mongol Empire, I won't keep the Arabian Empire, and the Mongol Empire has no de jure territory, which means that my choice of making the Mongol Empire primary was probably stupid, and I'm gonna actually go ahead and change that, even though it looks better, to be honest, in many ways. I don't know. Uh, or uh, I was just used to it I think I'll have to make the Arabian my primary and then uh, what do I lose only the continent and but why is that though like that doesn't even make sense oh well, well we'll have to change the crown authority again work all of that that's unfortunate but true peace offer because they were trying to declare independence uh, from the Mongol Empire. Do they still... Is that still a Teutonic Order? Did they move their capital? How does that work? I don't know. Uh, but what I can do now is go around my vassals and try to convert them all to uh, Messalian. So hopefully that works out. And then we can eventually maybe have uh, fully maybe elective... How do the gender laws work? I have no idea. There we go, now everybody's gonna go Messalian, basically. Uh, or almost everybody. And I also have to do my court as well, which I completely forgot. Oh, she hates me. Okay. What about some money? Some religious conversion? And my son, too. No? Come on convert. Interesting, so the Tuscans have approached me, they're a fairly new republic I presume, um, to expel the Venetians from my territory. Uh, we will not only join the war on your side, but also present you with 200 gold should we fail. Actually, I don't know. I don't really like him, and uh, I have other business to resolve, so no. The anti-papacy of Pope Sergius V has ended. I mean, that probably took a very long time, because... If I do remember correctly, we've had quite a lot of anti-popes. Uh, 
before this guy. Um, but yeah, actually I haven't seen how the Catholic faith is faring. Cath are there. Not too bad. But we're, we're gonna go through a quite turbulent process now, so... Oh well. Mmm. There. Usurp or take that title, give it to her, and then ask her to convert. Boom. That should be done. Now what's the de jure of that? That's still Greece. Good. Uh, my question, however is I, I don't know if I really want to keep going west of course uh, putting in our families in the Ro Holy Roman Empire or our family and, and maybe France and England that's all fine and dandy but I, I'm thinking that going east might actually be a lot more interesting um, what kind of claims do we have here Pretty interesting ones. Holy War, Holy War. Ah, I haven't really thought about the Holy War one. Interesting. Oh well, I'll think about it. But you know what I just noticed? Uh, actually, we are over the episode length. I have to uh, kind of rush the editing of some stuff. So um, I think we're gonna end it here. We've come pretty far. I mean, feels like we aren't getting above 10 years, but uh, then again, maybe my memory is very weak because I, I used to think that we used to do 10 years per episode in in the old style of uh, gameplay but I doubt it since it takes much longer here uh, in any case I'm gonna go ahead and thank you so much for watching um, please do subscribe if you haven't already and if you like the content of course leave a like I did forget to mention last time that it's 50 likes, if we get to 50 likes I'll release the next episode before uh, the scheduled date, so uh, make sure to leave a like and uh, goodbye.